Todd Lee's return to Vermillion comes 32 years after graduating with a business administration degree from USD. He takes over a South Dakota men's basketball team that's second in the Summit League preseason poll after a runner-up finish in the conference tournament championship last season. Todd Lee's coaching career includes 16 years at the Division I level, 11 at Division II, two at the professional ranks, and two on the junior college stage. I've been at a lot of schools. You know, I've been around uh, to a number of universities, coached a lot of places. This is a very special place. I'm very happy to be back. The Coyotes have spent much of their offseason adjusting to their new coach. The entire program is very different, so all of that has taken some time to adjust, but um, and as well as we've got we've got we've got five new freshmen and a couple of transfers, so just all those pieces took a, a little bit this fall to get going. We have to get acquainted with the new players as well and get them up to speed. I mean, but at the end of the day, basketball is basketball, so there's things that you know don't change. And us being here and having those returners, it just kind of makes things go a little smoother. Lee's also been doing a lot of learning since taking over in April. I've watched every one of our games from last year to get to know their game and what they need to work on and what they do well because uh, they've had success here. So I've spent a lot of time watching film, getting to know what they do. The Coyotes will put their lessons to the test as they begin exhibition play next week. I want our fans to, to feel the energy, feel the competition, see our guys having fun and cheering for each other and leaving it out there on the floor. USD hosts Dakota Wesleyan a week from tonight in its only exhibition game. The Coyotes open the regular season November 7th against York College. Hills Beaver Creek finished the regular season with six straight wins, including last week's 36-27 victory over Russell Tyler Roofton. The Patriots hosted Granada Huntley East Chain Truman to kick off playoff action. The Patriots set up on the 16-yard line after a big punt return. Jax Wysong takes the ball and follows his blockers into the end zone as Hills Beaver Creek takes a quick 7-0 lead. And suing Jaguars possession quarterback Clay Gis Giske drops back and tosses one deep downfield intended for Jaden Cook. But Hunter Bork is there for the interception. He had two INTs in the opening quarter. A few plays later, Gavin Wysong fakes the handoff but keeps it himself. The sophomore picks up a block and races down the sideline 60-plus yards for the touchdown. The Patriots led by 20 after one quarter and route to the win 54-48. Hypestone looks to get back in the win column against Wyndham. Arrows up seven, looking to add to their advantage. Cody Thompson dumps it off for Cody Lang, who bobs and weaves his way through the Eagle defense for the 29-yard touchdown, and it's 14-0 Pipestone. On the ensuing kickoff, Alex Borgs, Borgsgard finds a seam up the left-hand side and outruns the Arrow coverage team as he takes the kickoff 90 yards to the house, add the extra point, and it's 14-7. Later in the quarter, after Braden Reek recovers an eagle fumble, Pipestone sets up deep in Wyndham territory, and Reek gets the reward as he hauls in the six-yard touchdown pass. It's pass. It's 28-7 at that point as Pipestone advances to the next round with a 72-27 win. The Kelloland Sports Zone returns Thursday night, and it's playoff season for all seven classes. You can vote for the Viewers' Choice Game of the Week on Kelloland.com. This week's options are Bridgewater Emory Ethan against Mobridge Pollock, Sioux Falls Christian against Winner, and Canisota Freeman against Alcester Hudson. The poll is available on the sports page at Kelloland.com. The Pride Cubs matchup owns the early advantage, but voting doesn't close until tomorrow night at 10 o'clock. That's a look at sports.